So in order to create a future different than your current reality, one of the best things you can do is create space. You know, for me, what that means when I first got into real estate or just as an entrepreneur anywhere, I'm gonna share a real quick story with you. You know, you're out there and you're doing your thing, you're working hard. For me, when I first started, that was mowing grass. And probably one of my biggest breakthroughs in mowing grass was when I first started, I went to the bank to get a loan. And first of all, if you like this video and you like this style video, I'm gonna share a story with you. I think the learning is gonna be worth a lot to you. It's gonna make you think differently, but if you like it, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. We put out new content every single week, so turn on notifications. You'll be notified when we put out new content. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Michael Reese. I'm a digital marketer. I'm also a real estate agent and a coach, and I train team leaders, real estate agents and brokers, how to exponentially grow their business through content creation, digital marketing, and social media. If you would like to learn how to do that, then hit that subscribe button. All right, so there's a concept called working in your business and working on your business. And what that means is when you're in your business, you can't see the things that you need to work on. So it'd be like owning this restaurant behind me. At the end of the day, let's say they have the restaurant, they have no customers. They can go in there and sit and wait for a customer to come in or they can go into a war room. They can go into any type of place and think about the business in the future. They can think strategically how can we get customers? I learned that thinking was probably the number one thing you had as a tool for your business because all you have to do is think differently and you can make different choices, literally. The minute you think differently, you can make different choices. And in order to do that, you can't be trying to confirm everything you're doing. You can't have these biases, these confirmation biases. You have to really go in a separate place, walk. I feel like it's better to leave the office, get separated from the office, put yourself in this creative space. Now for me, I wanna be in a place which is gonna totally be out of my norm, right? I wanna be somewhere that's gonna completely change my state. And in doing that, I start to just have things come in. Bill Gates called it Think Week, which was one week out of every year where he would go by himself to a place and think, you know, in order to think creatively about his business. And that's what it is. Like your next big move is going to be a decision. And you can't make that decision if your phone's ringing. If, you know, for me, if my kids, especially working from home, oh my goodness. I mean, kids want this. Dad, can I have fruit by the foot? Can we go swimming? Dad, take me fishing. Next thing you know, brothers are fighting. All of those things, even if they're having a conversation and I can hear it, subconsciously listening to it. Great things happen in space. That's what one of my mentors taught me. And I believe that. I believe my biggest breakthroughs in business have not been in the office. They've been away from the office. I've gotten clarity. I've been able to sit down and think about the problem and not force it. Not like in a 90 minute time block. I'm talking great strategy has no end. You go into the strategy until you have that breakthrough. You create enough space in order for that to happen. And so, you know, one of the things that I can tell you about your business is if you're not taking the time to step out of your business, working in your business, to work on your business, most importantly, looking objectively, getting feedback, Back, looking where are my opportunities what are my weaknesses most importantly what's working right now and is there any way that we can do more of it let's say we have an ad and it's working on Facebook why do we not have it on Google why do we not have it on YouTube if that offer is working so good on that platform with that media getting traffic to it why wouldn't we try to get more traffic it would be like building an amazing chick-fil-a for your business and then thinking hmm I think we should start a burger spot. no you have a Chick-fil-A, you have a business. How can we put more of them over here, over there? We already have the system, we already have the distribution, we already have the recipes, we already have the branding, the value proposition, the know-how, you know, all of that stuff. And so sometimes when you have something nailed, you need to really be scaling it. And a lot of times where I see real estate agents, they're trying to do 10,000 things. And I'm gonna tell you, if you wanna grow your business, it's about doing two, three, max four things, 10,000 times better. Listen, if you want to grow your business and you want to take it to the next level, remember it happens in an instance, your decision to change what you're doing and it, to make those decisions, you got to create the space. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, make sure you go down and hit the like button. And if you create space in your business, or maybe if you don't, if you're going to leave a comment down below, where's your place where your mind gets to its most creative spot, where that you come to this place of man, ambition, motivation of thinking about the future. I'd love to hear where your spot is. Leave it in the comments below. And if you if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. You know we put out new content every single week. If you like content like this, hit that like button.